Welcome back guys to Pokemon Y, where I've made myself a little bit of a PR video that I think explains me quite well. Yes, that the laughs had me come, because I'm still just a newbie still learning all the changes to Pokemon and whatnot as we go along, but I think our party is shaping up quite well. So let's head out on exploration, as it were, and well, we've got our meeting up at Route 14 as well. So, back and forth in Lumio City, shall we look around down Password Ways? Well, that's Route 5 by the look of it. Well, we can head down alleys and the whatnot, so... Let's check around, I guess, is the way we could go about things. Look at Lost's have ended up here. Isn't it exciting to be somewhere new? So trainer, how about helping amuse a poor lost girl like me? Sure? Wow, getting lost led me right to a Pokemon battle with you! There's Pokemon battles in the middle of town? Right then, waitress Paget. Or Paget? 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 Ugh, Kalia? Why hello, madame! We have our evolved Gardevoir, but to be honest, I'm wondering how well we could do against this. Well, to be honest, we know Kalia doesn't have that much stats of Bone Rush, even though fighting type isn't that strong against it. And still take it down in two hits? No problemo. Right then. I'm thankful for that Bone Rush, to be honest. It really helps me out. Venus all grew to level 45 and wants to learn the move Synthesis. Shouldn't that be a healing move? But we'll leave that, we won't do that, we'll keep the old ones. Because I quite like having the Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, the Venom Shot with the double damage from Poison, and Razor Leaf for extra crits or whatnot. Waitress Paddy is defeated. Even a simple Pokemon battle like this feels so dramatic. No problem, madame, but I didn't really help you out when you were lost. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lost. Do people who never get lost also never lose sight of their goal in battle either? Maybe I'll just get lost around here again sometime to try to find you. I'm being hit upon. Oh yeah, and there's one thing about the PR videos that I really liked. I could put like a moustache and goatee type beard on. Why am I not allowed to have a proper moustache and goatee like beard? Don't they know I'm not a I'm a bearded guy? Hey hey, what you think you're doing a place like this, huh? These alleys are heavy with a scent of danger. Still sure you don't want to leave? Yes. I guess words just won't get through to you, then maybe a battle will. Why are there people to battle in Lumio City? Well, I guess where people gather, you're always gonna find someone. Own a Toro. He's gonna send out a diggers bee. That is, actually, I've got to say, that is one ugly Pokemon. My god it is. Right, so what type's going to be best against you? In fact, you're an evolution yourself, so maybe we want a Mega Evolve. But Parrot Punch will do, hopefully. Bring forth Mega Lucario once more with full animation. I've noticed the animations reset whenever I reset my game. Right then, take you out, sir. Power up punch. Because I thought that might be good. Super effective with full damage. Just making sure that an evolved form. What's the, even with the noise it makes, it's kind of ugly. I mean, that's just not a nice looking Pokemon. Not that Pokemon are supposed to be nice looking, but meh. Talon Flame grew to level 45. And we defeated Onatoro. I guess a lot of people do choose Pokemon, though down to cuteness factors or whatever. What incredible Pokemon you have? You're something special, aren't you? Well, for an owner, you didn't really cough up much cash, did ya? How is somebody's high muscle? That strength just ain't normal. No, I'm, I'm just a trainer. I'm just a trainer from another galaxy. All right, let's continue heading through these weird places into other places and into more alleyways, in fact. Where are we going? Hello. Can you just buzz off? What is this, a macho contest? If I fight you, will you go away? Sure. Fine, let's just get this over with. Another trainer here? Seems the alleyways are where we find fights. Only one Pokemon battles, though. Pump Girl Lillian sent out a Clock Lock. Hello. Though, if I'm right in saying, aren't you dark? Aren't you a dark type? Don't you know that's the wrong type to be around me? Para Punch. One shot win. Ah, critical hit. That might be why. Sometimes I really should just remember to Mega Evolve just in case, because that was an evolved form, of course, of something we've seen before. Poor Punk Girl Lillian, she's upset. I seem to give all the same amount of cash and disappear again, so I guess they reset. Normally I ought to leave too, just leave me alone next time, okay? 
I feel like I've kind of upset her there. Not really what I wanted to be doing. Let's move on some more. Hello, guy. What are you doing? Super move will let you double your speed by kicking off the ground. It's a fantastic drift and dash. Slide the circle pad in the opposite direction. Yes, you, young trainer. Go fly like the wind. Okay. What does he mean exactly? Oh, whatever. Skating friends. We got Fisherman Kid and some kind of lake that he's looking in. I could kind of guess he was going to be fishing, to be honest. Right, more alleyways. Are there any more trainers around? Well, that's back to the center. And you, sir? Are you another guy waiting? These narrow alleys, they reek of danger. I'm sure they do, but to be honest, only if you don't have Pokemon and don't want to do a battle or something along those lines. Well, what, there's even smaller alleys around? Right then, hello. Someone in the alley, what's this? Are you trying to visit every inch of the city on foot, kid? How about it? Do you want to know how it feels to battle in the city too? Well, I've already battled several types. Yes, I'm the type who can't resist a battle even in the middle of the city. Okay. I was just, like, trying to figure out where on earth I'm going. Beauty and nice. Sent out a Cedra. Long time since I've seen one of you. Right, so how does my typing stand up versus a Cedra? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe we should Mega Evolve. We're obviously not using Bone Rush. The Power Up Punch is our go-to. You are an evolved form of horsey, aren't you, after all? Right then, Power Up Punch. For at least half damage. That's not bad. We could use a Rock Smash next time. But Twister, is that a wind type? Okay, it's not very effective. Good. I guess the steel typing works quite well at times. There we go, rock smash. Smashes are not rock. No problem, and a fair bit of experience will catch you up with the other Pokemon soon, Lucario. Even though you did faint in our last gym leader battle, I must be captivated by the beauty of the city. I'm sure. But damn, could you tell me which way's out? That'd be really handy. That hit the spot. My Pokemon seems to have joined it too. Oh, we obtained an elixir. Why, thank you. Sure, uh, here's a little thank you for battling me here in the city like this. It was fun. I guess it's time to get back to my walk. Let's run into each other again sometime. The ladies, they like me. Still, I'm just checking out where this is. Where does it lead? Because, man. There's so many, like, little areas all around the place. Should we continue on the way we're heading? Hopefully it might lead to the right way. Got ourselves another present there. Right, so where are we going? That's the question, North Boulevard. Okay, what number does that say? That's 16. All right, so where to go from here? Hello? Someone tell me something. Leave me a city, he's just bursting with shops. It gets so that I can't decide where to go next. I'm sure about that. Another present, yay, light cushion. I'm getting lots of cool new crazy stuff. Another cafe. Coffee tea and then more coffee, I'm sure. Right, let's keep heading down the track. Beauty and the Beast is an old fairy tale about a prince who was turned into a Pokemon and the woman who loved him despite it. That sounds a bit weirder than the normal thing of Beauty and the Beast, that's for sure. Right, what route's this? Who are you? This is the North Boulevard. It's a main street and has a battle institute, Hotel Richismi, and Lumio Station, where you can catch the TMV Super High Speed Rail. What? So much confusing stuff. There's buildings around. Of course there's buildings around. There's loads of buildings, but... What's this Battle Institute or this hotel? Where am I exactly going? The famous flavor of Kalos is baked right here in Lumio City. When you try one of our famous Lumio Skelets or, or Dozen? Oh yes, I don't even know what a Galette is. Right, well, we just went past a route entry point. So, I'll head back for there for now. What's this place? Ah, I'm so lost in exploration. Someone tell me. Pardon me, but do you happen to know where I might find the riches? I look for young Master Miles. Okay, wherever he is. I recently moved here from a very rural part of Anova. I feel so lost here. I don't even know what this build... Well, that's helpful. I just want to know. I'll just sit next to you, lady. Hey, I'm a young kid. Out on my own. Being able to sit here and pet my precious spewper is all I need in life. Did I just sit on it? Whoops. Are you young Master Riches. Hey, trainer. Look, my clauncher's attack is 100. You got anything that can beat that? What? That Lucario's attack is off the charts! You're some kind of trainer! Yes, I try. Did I mention that it's a traitor, though? 
Well, whatever. Let's find out what number route this is. Route 14, that's the way we need to go. Good, good, good. We're off. Finally found my way out. There was a few trainer battles though, so it wasn't all lost. I'm happy with that. Are they waiting for me out here? Hello, Wallace. Laverne Nature Trail. You arrived very quickly. Yes, I did. I tried to deliver. Oh, hi, Oliz. We're just comparing how complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. I'll leave filling up the Pokedex to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Oliz, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen, just like we always do. This time, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen in the Mountain Kalos Pokedex. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen nine kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How frustrating. I was thinking I might lose that one. Host, you've seen Gibble too, Oliz? Just knowing about the same Pokemon someone else can sure make you happy. There sure are many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. Now it's my turn! Let's have a Pokemon battle, Alexandri! Impromptu battles everywhere! You keep wanting to fight me, though. I, I feel like you're kind of annoyed about my taking the power of Mega Evolution from you. It was fair and square, but now I've just realised about a massive typing error here. I still do a fair bit of damage to it though if I Mega Evolve and go with a Parrot Punch or something like that. Might not be a bad idea. I could go with Bone Rush as well as a neutral typing, but I'm looking to up my attack a little bit more, which is where Sword Stamp would have come in handy. That still did a fair bit- oh, no wonder, it's a critical hit. And now I was going around thinking, oh, it was really good, yeah. Not really. When you're critical, you critical. Well, we could try to take it down. After all, I don't think it's able to really do all that much against me. With Bone Rush being powered up with attack damage as well and hitting three times, Meowstic goes down. No problem. Phew. My still type would have protected me against the Psychic, though. It would have been super effective, so we would have been happy there. But then we're going to find a Chestnut. You've evolved it. Cool. Which just means that we can severely abuse you. Talon Flame, come out! Well, this is the first stage evolution of the Pokemon that Becca chose, by the way. Becca chose a Chestnut as a starter. Well, not exactly a Chestnut, the normal one. Chest Bin. But if we use Fly here, considering it's now a fighting type, won't we get like a super bonus? Like, is this four times super effective? Maybe it is. See how fast that health just drained? My goodness. Right then, lots of experience. We'll take that and run with it. And Gardevoir grew to level 44. Greninja grew to level 47 as well. You never catch up with this rate, Lucario. Absol is coming out next though, which means that Lucario can get a little bit of extra experience over the others. Do it, Talonflame, come back. And out you go again, Lucario. Get ready to fight, because I'm guessing one power-up punch is all I need here. Learning my typings one step at a time. Fighting good versus dark. They're super effective. And that's why I've got I'm a newbie in the PR video. Lucario levels up. Brilliant. Alright then, nice stats again. Lucario wants to learn the move Aura Sphere. However, Lucario only knows four moves. Well, we'll find out what uh, Aura Sphere's Worth first? 80 power never misses. Special type. We've got physicals. That's a special. Bone Rush is a physical. Me first can differ, I guess. I guess we replace me first. I mean, I prefer a still type move at this point in time. Something to go with the STAB. I think there's probably a TM I could learn for that. Mind you, if I really need it. And then of course I need Rock Smash as well to smash rocks. I really enjoy battling with you, but I'm getting tired of losing every time. And that facial expression just makes me feel so sorry. I apologize. You challenge me though. Wow, that was a really intense battle. Oh, hi Shauna. When did you start watching? So where's Tiani? He's at the fighting dojo. Really? The fighting dojo? Sorry I'm late everybody. Hello Tiano. I was having so much fun with the sparring dances, I totally lost track of time with the sparring dances. So Tiano, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yep, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That's great, good for you. Hey everybody, let's go to the scary house. 
The one by Levert City? That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on, let's all go find out if the rumor's true together. Hmm, I think I'll pass. I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I want to spend some time with my Pokemon before heading to Levert City. Okay, uh, okay, bye. It feels like she doesn't want to be part of the group now. I feel like I've really damaged her ego or something. So, is it really that scary? Let's go and see for ourselves, Tieno. There's always some reason rumors like that get started. Farewell then, guys. <sighs> and you're off as well? Why are you traveling, Olazandri? Everyone is working really hard at what they want to do. Well, I'm just all about memories. I'm kind of just goofing around. Just kidding. What? Okay then. I thought this trip for everyone, though, is essentially about memories and all that. Right, I can sit on a chair. Can I sit on a slide? Well, not a slide. That is a swing. I can't gain it momentum, though. Brilliant. I hope there's a slide here as well so I can say, Oh, I caught it out of the corner of my eye, despite the fact that I haven't seen it. There we go. There's a slide. Cool. I'll just mistake slides and swings for the hell of it. And I can go up and down. Whee! But Pokeball, we saw that down here. So we'll take another rare candy. So we could level up Lucario a couple of times and it wouldn't actually put him behind at all? Like it used to do. See all my... Oh, hello, trainer. All my conceptions of Pokemon are very much built on the original. Right then. Oh, I went to battle the trainer, ended up getting knocked away and... Finding some kind of water thing. Right, I hope you're good to fight this. It started raining as well, whatever that will do. Right, should we use Aura Sophia and find out how good that is? Especially with Mega Evolution that boosts my power as well. Come on, do this! It's a cool looking attack and it did a fair bit of damage. It's using Camouflage. And it's transformed into the ground type. Surely a Parrot Punch will do after that. Oh no, catch it! Catch it! I always forget, this wasn't the trainer battle, I screwed away from it. That's a fair bit of experience for a wild Pokemon, I'm happy with that. Right, catch it next time. So the puddles are um, Pokemon ridden as well. Look what I found, it's a trainer, yes it's me. I found you more than you found me though, I'm just pointing out. Challenged by Melina, sent out an Arbok. Don't tell me you're a dark type by any chance. That might not go down too well for you. I've just got to point this out to you. Right then. So, with that in mind, should we Mega Evolve once more and give Aura Sophia a one-shot win? It's just too tempting to Mega Evolve every single time when you've got a Lucaria, though. It's a cool animation, though. Oh, okay, it's not very effective. It just nearly killed it. It's the perfect time to be able to catch it, but then now this is the trainer battle. Right then, so my stuff ain't that great against you, so what is your typing? I thought you would like some like dark poison. By the way, Bone Rush would work quite well against you, wouldn't it? Not that I need to hit you more than once, though. No problem at all, super effective hit one time, the opposing Arbok has fainted. We'll take the experience that goes with it. Right then, Pokemon Ranger Melina is about to send a Pyroar. I think we will switch considering it's a fire type, even though the rain should dampen the fire. And go with our water type. I know what a Pyroar is, because it's also one of the Pokemon on Becca's team. Right then, Pyroar comes out. Now what move should I use against you? Well, I am a ninja and it's been- I'm, I'm too nervous to eat berries. This is a very bad thing. Should I use Water Shuriken just because I'm a ninja? Why not? Make sure to use it more than twice, just in case. I guess my power is not boosted that much by the rain. Really? My shurikens just keep coming out ninja-esque and defeating you in one go! Nicely done there, Greninja. Gain your experience and we'll move on. Pokemon Ranger Melina could not stand up to our crazy damage. Right then, let's continue onwards in here and try to catch that water Pokemon if it attacks me again. It seems there's deeps and not-so-deeps. 
Alright, let's wait over here, but mind you, it seems the Pokemon are going to attack again. A wild Quagsire. Something tells me I've got to be worried about this thing. Alright, let's use a normal Aura Sphere for now. Well, maybe not. Well, if we want to catch it, maybe not to start with our most powerful. I was wondering if we were not going to be very effective. I was a bit worried about that Pokemon for some reason. I think it's ground type. Is ground good against me? Because... What? What? What's going on? Okay, I got up in the end. I sunk. Or something along those lines. Another Quagsire comes. So let's just punch you in the face a little bit more normally, eh? We've got Power Up Punch. We'll use that. So this time it wasn't so good. Aura Sphere, I guess it's got really high physical defense. Mind you, that's not very effective, so we'll just break through again. Another Parrot Punch, let's see where your HP lies after this. In the red. That's looking good. Stop slamming me. It's not very nice of you. Alright then, should we try to catch it right off or put it to sleep first might be the best option. Come on, Venusaur! Alright then, avoided the attack as well. Nicely done. Sleep powder time! Ah! We understand we haven't caught a Pokemon in a while. We've got to catch you! Come to my side with the sleep powder flying. Night, night! I'm sure an Ultra Ball will do for the finale! Snore away, I don't mind. Get that Ultra Ball out! Fire Ultra Ball! Sleep as well, it stands no chance. Quagsire was caught! I'm gain a little bit of experience, but just enough to level up Venusaur once more. Level 46! And Lucario gained it as well. And in fact, Talonflame reached level 46 on this battle as well. Thanks, and Mahora's crew to level 45. Man, experience share. You're crazy. This carefree Pokemon is an easygoing nature while swimming. It always bumps into boat holes, and I knew it was a ground type. Water ground. A water fish Pokemon. Oh, we will not give anything to you. No nicknames or anything. Let's find out what this item is that we tried to come round for. We found ourselves a big mushroom. Now what's that when it's at home? Something for evolution or something along those lines? Big mushroom. We got tiny mushroom, now we got big mushroom. Wherever it lies in our thing. A very large and rare mushroom. It's popular with a certain class of collectors and sought out by them. So we got ourselves stuff to sell. The King's Rock as well, and the holder successfully inflicts damage to target may also flinch. That's a kind of nice ability, isn't it? All our other stuff as well that we've got here. to parrot, move, zap plate, magnet and whatnot. So many items we're picking up, but we'll continue on on this nature trail next episode and try not to sink into the water, into the swamps. Join me then for more Pokemon Y! Bye-bye.